Hello and welcome to Skinfinity. I'm Dr. Jay Shri Sharad, your skin expert. It's the wedding season and I'm sure all brides and grooms are gearing up for their big day. Today, I'm going to give you some lovely tips, five important ones to look radiant on your D-Day. Keep watching. So all you brides and grooms, I'm sure you're running around shopping, doing all kinds of chores, but not taking care of your skin. You're out in the sun. Do you know how much damage the sun can cause to your skin? Not only will you get tanned, you'll get blemishes, you can get boils and your skin will look dull and dehydrated on that important day. So my first important tip, please do not forget to use your sunscreen. The sunscreen should have an SPF of 30. Apply it every two to three hours. That's extremely important. It may be the best sunscreen in the world, but the effect will wear off in two to three hours. Another important tip, if you have oily skin, you can opt for matte or oil-free or gel-based sunscreens. That's again very important. If you're traveling by cars, UVA penetrates glass. So make sure you still apply your sunscreen. Wear your hats, wear your chic glasses, protect your skin from ultraviolet rays. You must take care of your diet. You know, sugar and salt are two big culprits. Stop having sugar if possible 10 days before your big day and see that wonderful difference that it can make. If you have less of salt, you will have absolutely no puffy eyes because I'm sure you're going to have lack of sleep. Try and catch about 5 hours of sleep at least, that's extremely important. Stay hydrated, drink as much water as possible. Even when you're traveling, you know, have some coconut water, have uh, lime juice, have some fruit juices. No preserved stuff and no coffees and teas if you want to look good for that day. Pick up any bright colored fruits and keep gorging on them if you're skipping meals because you're running around just before that big important day of your life. Do not forget to moisturize your skin. Okay, your face needs moisturizing, your hands, your legs, your entire body needs hydration. You're traveling all day, you're tired, you're stressed and what happens to your skin? It gets dull and dehydrated. Remember, the best glowing ingredient that one can use is a good moisturizer. If possible, once in the morning after taking a shower and once at bedtime after cleansing your face and removing all the makeup on your face. So moisturize, moisturize and moisturize. Now I know all of you want to look very beautiful on your wedding day. So you must be going on for facials and you know booking yourself with some parlors, hair salons etc. My advice to you will be start your skincare regime at least three months in advance. You know there are a lot of bridal packages that are done in a lot of skin clinics. Uh, starting from peels and polishing and laser rejuvenation, photofacials, etc. And then of course the different kinds of facials. But these treatments should not be tried in the last 10 days because you do not want to end up with some kind of reaction, pimples, boils, you know, pigmentation, burns on the skin. It's always best to try it way in advance and see that you're not allergic or sensitive to anything. So you're safe and your skin will not look bad on your final day. Who doesn't love homemade packs? Well, I'm going to give you some tips. What you can do is you can start about 10 days before your wedding day. Uh, take a little bit of yogurt, you know, just about half a cup. Add two spoons of honey into it, a pinch of turmeric and make a nice paste. Apply this on your face, on your arms, on your legs leave it on for about 10 minutes and then rinse the entire thing off. What the yogurt does is it has lactic acid and it has moisturizing properties. So it hydrates your skin and it lightens your skin color. So it actually evens out your skin tone. Honey is a soothing agent and it's a moisturizer. So it hydrates your skin again. Turmeric has an antibacterial property. So it kills all the germs and the microbes which are present on the skin, making your skin more healthy and hygienic. This is a simple pack that all of you can use for your entire body, irrespective of your skin type. 
The second thing that you can do is use a small oatmeal scrub. So just take like a little bit of oats and again add honey to it. Make a paste and use it as a gentle scrub. Exfoliation is very important because you know you have all the dead skin that accumulates on your skin and uh, it makes the skin look very dull because it, it's, it's not reflecting light properly. So if you exfoliate with a mild oatmeal scrub, you will look radiant and nice. So these are very two important homemade scrubs that you can do. Start from the 10th day and go on till the final day. If you want to know how to make these homemade packs, just click on the link below. For more, tweet to me at Jayashree Sharad, that's J-A-I-S-H-R-E-E-S-H-A-R-A-D. And you can also post your comments here. Don't forget to subscribe to Skinfinity.